Hey there, party people. Uh, if there are any party people, there may or may not be party people. But if there are, what is up? Um, I am still getting myself set up in the who's it's and the what's it's. Frick yes, finally have it done. Um, if you're here, uh, leave a chat, leave a comment, leave a thought, leave a note. Um, we're about to go back in and play some Untitled Goose game. Uh, played some before, and you know, it's been a hot second since I've played again. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best and play some Untitled Goose game. And we're gonna see how well we, uh, we do. I'm trying to resize my screen here, which is a, a time and a half between you and me. Oh lord, everything's going wrong and awry, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, the the good news is, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm also trying something new with the chat so it overlays on my screen. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna type something in chat. Hello, goose lovers. Yeah, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Serafina Maurer. Pleasure to have you on, on board with us today. Um, yep, we're gonna we're gonna go goose life. Uh, still trying to get this darsh, gush, gush darn thing si sized correctly. Cause my goodness, uh, there we go. Now there's the hoots and the whatsits. I mean, to you it changed very little, but to me it made a world of difference. So. Last time on Untitled Goose Game, we we were a goose. We did goose things. And that, honestly, was a very good time. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to re resize my screen. It's being... It used to let me do this. It used to let me just have, a, have it tiled to the right so I could look at my chat. Ugh. This woman... This woman is not a friend to me. So last time, uh, I talked to these really nice ladies who let me have a hat, and it was very nice, very soothing, uh, a very lovely time. And, you know, sometimes things just aren't fair for being a goose. Dark Mod. I, you know, she is Dark Mod, and I will get her. She is no friend to me. Um... I need to get inside this place, though. Got to get used to these controls again really quick. Uh, how, how has your day been? For people watching, how has everyone's day been? I don't know actually what the switch it is. Because uh, I'll be honest with you, because I can talk uh, much easier than you can. Oh goodness, it appears I've forgotten how to do everything. Tab, well, tell me what to do. Here we go. Um, Z. Still recover. <laughs> uh, no, I, same. Uh, hardcore same, I'll be honest with you. Um, so for those who don't know, I just came back from a trip to Napa uh, where I had a very fun time. There you go, Goose. Um, Cause I gotta do a murder mystery. I gotta do a Harry Potter murder mystery uh, with my friend Bud Buzz Lightyear, who was a detective, which I don't know. I, I never thought I'd be putting doing a murder mystery on a train on my list of, of things I'd done. Oh no, that's not how you're supposed to hold a goose. Oh, she had to open the door. <sighs> what a silly woman. What a silly woman. Um. But do it. I did a murder mystery on the train, which is actually like on my bucket list of things I wanted to do was to perform on the Napa Valley Wine Train, which I did. Um, I played a woman named Stevie. I can't get too far into the murder mystery just in case someone actually, you know, I don't want to spoil it. It's the same person who does it. We don't just change it for the audience. Um, but I played a person named Stevie. Stevie, you know, from Ravenclaw. Uh, and she was a total ditz. Yeah, much like this woman who just took me in here for no good reason. What a silly, what a silly goose you are. Untitled Goose Game, where the true things that we find out 
is how, you know, everyone here is just also a silly goose. Here we are. Apparently I can't get out of this box though. Uh, Untitled Goose Game, where the real monster is me, because I don't know how to get out of a box. With that being said, that was actually a... I mean, yeah, that's... That was the name! Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, who played Cat in Victorious. That was her name. Hey, it's me, Cat. Um, my favorite line I've ever heard her say is, I, I have this app that gives me really great deals. And so I have all these rags in a bag. Which is just, I never thought I'd like Victorious, but here I am. I'm not a big fan of Ariana Grande though, fun fact. Um, it was a cool trip. Uh, we got to stop at a place called, it was Bravo Land, Bravoville, Bravo something, where there was an animatronic moose, which I never, and a lot more animatronic bears than I'd be comfortable with. Um, I'm not an animatronic bear person. I've seen Five Nights at Freddy's, never played it. Mm. Um, for those who may or may not know me, I don't do good with scary games. Maybe I'll treat you guys to me doing one at some point. You don't know me. You can't get me, woman. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a little scared, baby. Um, in the fact that one time I was playing uh, Friday the 13th, which is that co-op co game, which was very fun. Um, and they're like, listen, you got to play for the first time, Reed. And the moment music came on, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, I had to leave. I threw the, I threw the remote at my friend violently and he was okay. Like I didn't throw it like, so he like hurt himself, but it was enough to, it was enough to do something. All right. We're going to steal a pint glass is what we're going to do. The question is, is that a pint glass? That looks like a mug. You're not a pint glass. Also, I think if I find any items that I like, I'm just taking them home. Last time, uh, I think that's supposed to be a pint glass. It looks like a mug, but I'll take it. Um, last time I got a flower and everyone was mean and they took it from me. I was very mad at them, freaking people. Um, but more importantly, the user Buds Lightyear, by the way, if you haven't checked out his channel, you really should. Um, freaking fantastic individual. And also the pipes of an angel. Um, like, honestly, though, his, he's, he's, I, I got to have, I got to sit in a car with him for 12 hours. And got to be honest, I learned some things. This is my, mm, I was too busy being entranced by the thought of, Bud's Light, your beautiful soothing pipes. Stop being mean. I'm just a humble goose trying to make my way in this world. I'll just stand here. Um, which, actually, I'm going to ask everyone in the chat. There's, we got three people. Who is my third person? How exciting. Oh, crumbs. That's right. You don't know where I am. You don't have goose vision. Um, I'm gonna wait for her to just wonder where everything's going on. Um, the question I wanted to ask the chat is, do you guys have a favorite movie and or musical? I've been kind of trying to look into more things. I just watched the first episode of Loki, but I feel like I am not a cultured as cultured as I once was. Um, I'm a big I'm a big fan of stories and narratives, and I could use some new ones in my life. Um. I've had like some good ones. I've been, I've been, I've been planning to watch Treasure Planet again, just because it's Treasure Planet. Uh, whoever says they don't like Treasure Planet, that's fair. Everyone's opinions are valid, and, and, and you're allowed to have your own opinions and thoughts. But personally, I think Treasure Planet's a fantastic movie. We're just gonna drop this. Oh, I broke it. Whoopsie. You goose. So that was. Uh, well, good thing there's two. Oh, and it disappeared. How convenient for me. Don't have to clean up anything. No one knows what I saw. Oh, well, this game I really like, and I think it's a really beautiful game. But it's it does have this really intriguing puzzle aspect to it that always ends up throwing me off a little bit. 
I mean, thankfully, it's not a, it's not a, there are puzzle games where if you have the puzzle, you backed up the game, and too bad, so sad. I've played Myst. I wasn't good at it. Um, I enjoyed it. It's a very beautiful game, though. It's, if, if you're looking for a game where they tell you to count levers, and you just have to wonder, what? I'm off point here. Basically, what I'm saying is, is, Crumbs, 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 crumbs. You can't get me. I'm under a table. Ha! Um, missed with a Y. Um, which is it's it's a funky game. And when I was younger, I didn't understand the story of it. But it you follow. You're on an island. You don't know who you are, and the very first thing they tell you is to count all the levers. It's a puzzle game with a lot of levers, and they gave this is a game where back in the day they gave you like a little notebook, and they were like, "Here's a notebook for you to keep notes on all the things you find." And I'm like, "Okay." And man, oh man, I never counted enough levers. I was confused what they meant. Did they mean anyway? I'm not gonna rant about mist, even though I'm very tempted to rant about mist in my youth. Um, that's a beautiful game. I feel like we've discussed how video games are not fun. But that being said, um, the things that, about my life that we can all enjoy and listen about is crumbs. No, ah, oh, crumbs. You made me draw. You made me break it. I. Well, nuts to you. I'm gonna tie your shoes on there. Well, I dunked that one up pretty bad. Bounce it up pretty bad indeed. See, I appreciate this woman. This woman's nice. She's just chilling. Take your box inside. It's closed. But yeah, I'm looking for movie wrecks. I'm looking for show wrecks. I'm looking for song wrecks, I think. Um, because I'm actually I'm going on a trip soon. Uh I'm going out of town for a little bit, which feel bad leaving behind the roomie. But um going to Florida, uh, which should be a very fun time. And because it's a long flight, I'm trying to figure out what new media should I be consuming while I'm doing my thing. Um, or maybe I'll write. Speaking of writing, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I spaced. Um, Sarah Brown, our producer, has written a show and we just had the rehearsal for it the other day. Ugh. It's, she's done so many, so many, so many puns and I am so pleased with how many puns are in this show. Um, it's an animal-based show, so think Agoretsko, think B-Stars, except a little less creepy. Um, and it's, ugh, it's good. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> she didn't make a slap, she made a show. Um, she, she, wrote, she wrote a show. Uh, and it's, it's called Wild Hearts, and it's where it is going up this Thursday at seven o'clock, same channel, same time. Um, it's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, where our main character is a Labrador retriever and he is trying to decide he's in community college and he's trying to decide what college he should go to. And he gets to, he gets to, he gets to get to know some steamy reps, some steamy college reps, which big fan for me. Um, cause it's just, it's Sarah hasn't written a lot of shows and I'm really, I'm really down for this one. Um, there's just, there's so many animal puns, so much joy, and it's such a stellar cast. It's so good. Um, we got Ian Zandi, Mayana Barin, uh, both of them who I love. I don't know if you guys show, saw their show. Probably not. They had a really good show in Hollywood called Weird before the world closed down and everything. And ev everything, you know, went to where it was. Uh, I need a knife and a fork is what I need. Um... You know, before the world went downhill. Uh, 
they had a very lovely show at Second City, which I which I adored. Um, expecting big things from them, but it's it is it's a very fun show. Um, I everyone knows I'm no stranger to a good pun, and she might have just she this might be the most animal puns. One of the most puns I think we've done in a super dating show in a long time. And I'm just very pleased. So if you have the time, if you're around on Thursday, highly recommend you go and give the show a watch because it's worth it. It's worth it. It's, it's again, it runs an hour. My, most like all super dating uh, properties do. They do run about, about an hour. Nothing too crazy. Um... Yeah, here I am. Just a little lonely goose. I want to set the table to have a lovely little gooseberry snack. Please don't turn around, Miss Man. Please don't turn around. I'm just going to. Let's see. Jesus, someone's on the move. What? Are they paying? Like. Your job cannot be that good for you to care about a goose. Oh, I need to go back out of the table. I don't trust her. Ah! That's right. You walk away with your bun. The tables don't need to be that clean, honey. You already wiped that table. Can I pull this? Crumb. Crumb, 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 crumb. What did I expect was going to happen? What? Guy's gonna punch me for my hubris. Ugh. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why? Why? Oh lord. Is this So apparently this never runs out of liquid. Apparently. And she's just walking away! What is wrong with this woman? Uh, speaking of crumbs, um, I I think I'm I, th I think this is the show Hell of a Boss sinking into me. Um, she's just wow. She does not even care. I love it. Yeah, go back to wiping the tables, honey. Yeah, think about life, love, to the happiness. Focus on that dream vacation that you're going to get. Continue wiping the table. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm so close. Mm. She's going to turn around. She's going to turn around. She's going to turn around. You're going to... Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! I knew you would do it! I had a window to run away. I definitely did. Oh, but do I go now or do I wait? I think I wait. I think I got to wait. <laughs> she goes it's, why do you have such good inventory of your stuff lady why do you care that one knife is missing you have one knife one fork listen i see why people think pieces never listen why don't you be like this woman she don't give a single she does not care i i love her for it all right we have my knife There you go. That's 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 a table set. So crumbs is a is a is a turn of phrase I think I'm stealing from Hell of a Boss. Not stealing, but it's just kind of seeped its way into my life. Because it's such a great little curse word that in, if you don't want to curse, because it sells the k. Yeah, that's actually really genius. Um crumbs. Okay. Ah this woman! Well, thank you. Um, she's done nothing. She's done nothing to fix this. Why is there so much beer? I know it's video game logic. I really shouldn't be that upset, but like, you serious, lady? Oh no, 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 no! Not okay. So my my computer is an apple, so it has that special lady inside it. And when I say her name, she's like, "Can I help you?" And I'm like, "No, you can't." 
help me unless you can give me a hack untitled this game. There you go. So you don't want people knowing that you're a wizard with your magical never ending beer of never ending keg of beer, now, do ya? What do I have to my hog? Does she see me? Does she does she see me? No, just just this woman is is baffling. She cares so much about her job, but also not at all. And it's confusing. So we're just gonna thank you. One of these days I will play. See, why do you care about where the fork is? Why do you care? Do you not have a million forks, woman? I'm a goose. Do you know how hard it is for me to go into a store and buy a fork? Very hard. I don't have a goose job. Listen, it's hard in the goose economy. Why do you think I'm, I'm an outcast hanging around among humans? Having to steal forks. I want to set myself a nice meal. I wanted to eat out. But I don't got a goose job. So I can't go to the goose restaurant. I go to the human restaurant where y'all... Okay. Where y'all are mother flipping prejudice against me and my feathers. Game's glitching now, apparently. Okay, okay, okay. We'll slow down. We'll slow down. Mm, I know why. I made a mistake here. Um... I made a mistake with my signal. There you go. See, look at my nice little place setting for, for me. Oh, wait, I'm going to have some pepper. Gosh, I need some pepper. See, this woman, don't, don't give two, don't give two Fs. She don't give a, she don't give a flying fork. I'm here for that. Also, I let me show you guys the, the people who I really love. This, these are my people. These are the people who I love in this game. These two ladies are the best. Let me show you. Hi, I'm a goose. I'll bow. See, and then they give me a flower. Where does it go, though? Oh, it's over there. Okay. See, they just give me a little flower. Thank you. Thank you for the flower. See, I love this flower so much. It's my favorite flower. I'm going to put a flower on the table. I don't got it, but I want to. Because this is the night, the most beautiful night. It's the beautiful night of no day. Shit. No, my flower, you can't have it. Go away, lady. Go away. Go away. You don't need to take my flower. I earned it fair and square with my with my goose job. I'm a goose on the rise with my job. I'm gonna have a date with this flower. It's gonna be great. Hello, flower. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I have to still set the table. You're early for the date. No, the flower, I'm sorry. I'm going to put you on the table. I hope you enjoy the date that we're about to, I'm about to serenade the shit out of you. Hope you don't mind. Oh, we don't mind to have your world blown. There you go. See, I'm about to have an awesome date with this flower. Her name shall be Petunia, and she is a daisy. And I love her. All right, do not go anywhere, my dear. I'm going to. I need a candle. I already got a candle on this business. Uh, I look for a candle. Oh, yeah, I see the pepper. I gotta find a candle. Hey, man. Hi. I'm just being a jerk to this guy. He doesn't deserve it. All right, there's ring toss. There are these ladies with a vase having a good lunch. 
There's a plate. Where's the candle? I mean, I'll worry about it later, I suppose, because I know where the pepper is. And that's what I'll focus on. So that being said, I'm noticing it's very glitchy. So let me just turn off my turn off my Wi-Fi. Um, Hey guys uh sorry about that i don't know what happened um it's because i know i know exactly what happened um my wi-fi isn't the best so i have an ethernet cord but sometimes i'm a silly little goose hence why i play the game and i forget to uh to do stuff um also that sometimes happens i will honk just for i'm just kane hello i'm just kane um it also is saying that now I can't, I don't have any viewers. So if you're watching me and you hear me saying these words, uh, do me the favor, leave a comment, say hi. Uh, let me know that I'm not just alone in this abyssal of a universe. Um, and, that, and that we're all in this together, you know? You know. It looks like I'm recording, it looks like I'm live. Hi, thank you so much, I'm just Kane. I, I appreciate you very much. Of course, now my video game feed is gone. Which is really weird. Huh. Okay, well, let's time to figure out what on earth happened there. And why on earth I can't, no one can say me being a goose anymore. Because I'm just a little, I'm a simple little goose. But if you can't say me being a goose, well, then we're going to be having some problems. Um, that's not what I wanted. Listen, sometimes, sometimes you just got to look at life and be like, I'm having problems. And sometimes life be like, I understand. What a, what a, what a conundrum that we're in. Um, hmm. This is interesting, she said to herself, as things appear to be occurring. Um. Okay, so let's see. Uh, apologies for this sudden and interesting lapse of what on earth is going on over here. Um, it says I'm screen sharing, which is good. Okay, here we go. I just have to... Huh. Okay interesting stuff also because my screen is no longer just small i hope you're enjoying my um my super cool and we are back with that cool gaming content um my my funky hair aside uh Yeah, I didn't mean to zoom in on myself. It was, the game wasn't showing on my feed. So I was worried you weren't seeing me be a little goose. I want to goose around and show all everyone watching me being a special little goose. But now, now you can see me be a goose. Before, oh no, no, you don't know me. No, you don't know me like this woman. I just want to take my flower on this special dinner date. I must you hate me. I'm a goose. I'm a winner. What the hell am I doing here? 
I'm a little goose. Come here. I want the paper. She likes paper. It's her favorite food. Yes. Uh, successful goose. Oh, shoot. No, you can't find me. I'm under the table. I don't exist anymore. Ha ha. Yeah, that's right. Be upset as you can't catch me because I am the goose. I'm the goosiest goose to ever roost in the goose. Eat that, Alexander Lupin. French thief. If anyone knows their Netflix or actual literature, like a, you know, person of culture. Um, I am not a person of culture. I speak in funny voices on trains and with peace. And see, this woman don't get, don't care. And I respect her. Look, she's like, that goose has a pepper shaker. Huh. Don't see that every day. Oh, my dear, my darling dear, I bring you a paper shaker because I love you. Would you like a paper? Would you like some paper? My darling dear. My dearest darling dear. My darling dearing darling dear. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm the best goose. Okay, now I have to find a candle. I don't know where that is. It is up here and I'm just a blind goose. Candle. Condale. There's a bunch of cleaning supplies. Oh, what is this? Oh, it looks like it's just a mop bucket. What's this? It's a mop? What is this? I don't know what this is. That's the... What? That's a that's a that's a cursed mob. I'm no business there. Honk honk, honk honk. Do some stonks. Honk honk. Do some stonks. This is the secret about this goose game. That's an unlockable achievement. Is you actually own Wall Street. Hello. There's. It is. It's 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 cursed, and I don't like it. Too starched, too starched of a mop. Now, if I were a restaurant, where would I keep my candles? <laughs> she dropped her rag. There's a way to get through here, but apparently not. <laughs> do you not just go full squat when you get startled? Because I know I do. Got it. You just gotta be scared. That's how you get the big buttons. <laughs> I can't unsee it now. She really does just squat. Okay. <gasps> the candle. I see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. People are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> One more time and then I'll do something actually. <laughs> Just, they merge together into a horrible amalgam. <laughs> they're just so, con they're like, what? Why is the floor like this? One more time. God damn. What a bunch of dum-dums. You know, if a gentleman with a top hat and a handlebar mustache were to come out, comment on my body, he'd call me an assless chap. <laughs> oh shoot! No! 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 Ha! No! No! I'm under the table now. You can't find me. You're gone. That's. I just love how they snap. They're like. He's under a table now. There's nothing we can do. 
I, I do like assless chap is quite clever and funny. Um, yeah, go, go find the glass. I know I broke two earlier, but if you could just get, get, go on, get, there you go. There was such an interesting fascination with the derriere in culture and society. It just, it's just like, man, she got buns of steel. Also, when, why did we start calling it cake? Cause I'm, I'm, I like it, but I also don't cause it implies that your butt has frosting on it and I'm uncomfortable with that idea and sentiment. Just putting that out there. Um, Go on. Go on. Um, it is. It does look like a butt. A cartoon heart looks like a butt. And I don't quite understand it. I don't understand what our what our what our joy about posteriors are. I mean, I like I get it. I I am human. I enjoy a good posterior myself. You got to look at them and you're like, that's art right there. That's art. Um, you know, I'm just kidding. I was talking with, I think you the other day and I don't remember what the word was, but there's this just fancy word saying, that's a nice booty. Um, if you remember it, post it in chat. Um, it looks like a now What? B S. What? I'm gonna need some proof on Cali Cali Cali. No! Ah! ah! I was talking about butts too much. No! 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 Run, goose! Run! Run, goose! Oh God! Calipigian. I'm just saying, if you if you're if you're a butt person, like. Show up in chat because uh, same. Um, just we just like round things. He's like, excuse me, ladies, have you seen this flower? I very much care for it. No, she's my girl. Shoot, 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 shoot. I've been made. I've been made. No. Cal okay, Callie, like my state, Pidge E and Calipigian. Girl got dunk. Is that why we say get dunked on? So instead of, let's make a motion. Instead of getting to say get dunked on, get dunked on. Get dunked on is the negative one. Get dunked on. That means you care. But you know what? Girl, I hope you get dunked on. I'll hope you I hope someone sits. I hope you get to experience a good booty. Oh, crumbs. No, no, I'm under the table now. Yeah, that's right, you snap and defeat. Get out of my chat. I saw you. It's, no, ah! I, I, how dare you make me read Damn Melettles with eating that donk with my own eyes. How dare you? I'm gonna freaking do this too, by the way. Is it because the candle's too big, so I'm stuck? Oh, that didn't take her as much time as I thought it would. Why am I? Oh, it's because I'm not crouching. This woman has crazy tabs on what's going on in her restaurant, and I think it's kind of insane. I just now I'm looking at everyone's donks and seeing who has donk. I'm just kidding. I'm a little upset about it, by the way. Just like that's not something I need to be thinking about. I don't need to be thinking about these animated faceless people's derrieres. She shouldn't care that much about small items. She shouldn't. 
she was like, where's the fork and knife? There's only one fork and knife, firstly, so she's not that good at her job. Shoot. I refuse to move. Shoot. No! No, I won't go! I won't go! I have a girl waiting for me at home! No! Ah! I hate you. I just gotta sit here and wait and break back into the restaurant. I. That's right. You you lean on that truck. You take your break. Now carry me inside. Um, maybe it does serve good cake, but I seriously, the amount of customers they have, which is three, and the amount of utensils they have, which is like I saw two forks, one knife. Those girls are still waiting for their food. That man is playing a harmonica and playing ring toss. I'm just saying, their this restaurant can't be that good. It can't be. Look, they got two tomatoes sitting there on the ground. That's a health code violation, I'm sure. The only person who deserves anything in this world is this woman who's carrying me in, who carries me in every time, who, like... I'm just Kane. Are you just trolling me in the chat? You just trolling me? You know, dang kids and their genders and their macaroni and cheese. Ugh. Hi. Thanks for carrying in me, Satan. Bye. Wait, is my date still there? She better be. If she doesn't, I'm burning this whole restaurant to the ground. Oh, hi, darling. Uh, yes, yes, the, the candle's on its way. Um, give me a second, okay, my dear? My darling Petunia. That's right. Very, very. See, look, how long has he been here? Where's their food? Where's their food? Hmm? Hmm? Horrible service. I just like scaring people. I know this is really making it hard for me to do things in the game, but just. Oh! Oh, a goose! There's a goose! Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> All right, yeah, just go over here. Maybe there's one of those customers too, or just a small thing and sit in the restaurant for four. I mean, they don't have anything in front of them. They just have like a vase that used to have a flower that they gave to me. Very nice woman. Nope. Oh, there you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That's right. I mean, maybe they are, but I honestly don't think they are. I'm, all I'm saying is they're really nice, and I'm taking this one in drag. Can't be good at your job if you don't have the tools for it. Hey. You know, I don't appreciate that you're that you're siding with them. I mean, you're you're siding with this restaurant that has making it hard for me to have my flower date. I'm just a goose who wants to shoot, run, run. No, you bee. You're a bee. You're just such a bee. I want to go on a date with my beautiful flower girlfriend. Ugh. You know what, Kane? I'm just Kane. You be better. Be better at supporting me. Why can't you be like this old guy serenading me? See, he just wants this ring. You can have it. I'm not a loser. I'm just, I'm a winner with some setbacks. Hooray! Oh. Okay, I still love this guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? I feel like that's a song reference I'm just not getting. Because that sounds musical. I have a strategy in mind. Not you. You're cool. I can come out here and you'd be like, oh, it's just a the goose. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I hear the ice cream truck. I am not familiar with the 90s artist Beck. I'm under the table, can't get me. <laughs> she's just, she looks like she's ready to deck me. Where's my cleaning rag? Your cleaning rag is uh, gone, baby. Gone. But no, I'm not familiar with apostrophe Beck. Is it supposed to be like short for Rebecca? What do you mean I'm on a deck? I, mean, I guess I am. This is true. Oh, where's the candle? Oh man, where where is the candle gone? Oh man, oh jeez, oh man. If you could tell, I don't have any sympathy for this woman. Um, I just want to go on a flower date with my flower girlfriend. All I want. I take the most convoluted way off the deck. I'm on a deck. I'm on a deck. Take a good hard look at this mother freaking deck. Okay. What are you doing? You gotta just stand there and admire. I mean, I can appreciate standing there and admiring your work. Would appreciate it. Ah, uh, see, I wasn't into horror rock or lo-fi in the '90s. I was a, I was one of those chicks who were into boy bands. Uh, in there was a large sort of war. You could do this, goose. You could do this. Let's make a run for it. No, shoot! No, 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 no. Yes. Home free. Come on. Um, I listened to boy bands, so it was more my thing. Um, you know, tell me why he ain't nothing but a party. Hello, my dear. I brought you a candle. Now I can go on my date with my pretty, my darling Petunia. If things are going well, we can go back to my place. Hello. There we go. That's a date. Listen, if you show up and someone's like, look, I set the table and this is what they've done. Also, they're covered in feathers. Their neck is very long and they honk. They're a keeper. They're a keeper. <laughs> um, okay, so now that that's done, and we've had a good date, I'd like to think. Um, I'll call you. Also, if someone just shows up, sets the table, and leaves, and said this was a good date, they're a keeper. Obviously. Sorry I scared you. Not really. Man, I hear the ice cream truck, and boy, would I do anything for a king cone. Like a drumstick. Mm. <laughs> I'm just reading, that's an alpha move. You just show up, set the table. No food, by the way. You just put down, a, the only food stuff I put on that table was a pepper grinder. And I go, you're welcome. I'll call you. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll call you. Don't worry about me. I'll call you. Hey, why are you being such a jerk? Hi. One, two, dang it. Yeah, 
do the thing. Throw it. Sorry, man. Sorry, you suck. Why don't you be like me? Be a winner. Can you play piano, man? Can you play piano? Can you play piano, man? Can you play piano? Can you play? Can you play piano, man? See, it's fair, but I'm just saying. Can you play piano, man? <laughs> Listen, if a goo showed up to me and started honking emphatically, you know that it's something to tell you. I'm sorry you suck, man. I wish I knew how to make you suck less. Aw. Alright, what am I doing? Break the dartboard, get the toy boat, make the old man fall on his bum. Ha! Start a pint. Oh, drop a pint. I have to steal a pint glass. Half the sound my girl. It's not over, baby. I've come with music. Do you like jazz? <laughs> anyway, follow my album on Spotify. Um new new singles drop every week um <laughs> cuz i'm just i mean it doesn't have lips but i think if you push enough air into the instrument then by god <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. But also, uh, let me just, you, you can, hey baby, you can keep that. Think about my goose spit when you touch it. <laughs> Think about my goose spit and how I love you, baby. <laughs> I'm sure I need that for a puzzle later. <laughs> I broke the dartboard! <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Dab. Um, rock at this game. I don't. I'm pretty sure there are people who are much better than me at this game. Um, the next thing is I need to make this old man fall on his bum. Hi. No, don't don't mind me. No, come have a have a seat. Down. Ah. You. I am the artist Honk. You are very welcome to uh, sit. You have a seat. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Ha! Did that not count? You saw him fall. Did he glitch up? <laughs> He's not. His the butt is the least concussible part of the body. It's science. I'm not going to try it again. Fool you once, shame on me. Fool you thrice, you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, oh, I heard his back. I'm sorry. You can have that now. I'm done. I'm done with my mischief. Now I just need to get a pint. I think it, where is the toy boat? I need to get, get the toy boat. I don't know where the toy boat is. Ladies, do you know where the toy boat is? Hello, ladies. Do you have a boat for me? 
We're just having a good time. See, look at them. Look at them. All right. I need to steal a pint glass and drop it in the canal. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Bottom, 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 bottom. So fun fact, uh, I stole two glasses already and I broke them both. So really hoping they got a third one. Panic Squat, it's my favorite hair metal band. Uh, the Toy Boat! I know how to do this. Shoot. Haha, <laughs> under table, sucks to be you. Panic squat. You know, hair metal, I think there's hair is a, is a musical I've never seen, firstly. Um, it doesn't sound particularly good. Anytime anyone ever talks about hair, the musical, I think of Age of Aquarius. And I know very little other than it is a musical about hippies. It's the best I know. Um, Off, didn't she? But up, 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 Almost there. Almost there. Dang it. I know what I have to do. That's right. Be upset. Where's my cleaning cloth? Nope. I'll take this exit. I'll take this exit. Because if she scares me to the old man, she like I get scared out of the restaurant, which I hate. I hate that that's the consequence of my actions. I love how she still can't find her freaking cleaning cloth because she's not looking under tables. It means she doesn't clean under tables. It means that she's not a good waiter slash restaurant tour. Just saying. The number of things I've dropped under tables in my youth is just staggering because I'm not a coordinated child. I mean, I wasn't. I'm an adult now, obviously, but you know. Darn it. Well, I'm not a child. <laughs> But I, I guess that's fair. I'm not a coordinated child. I'm not any kind of child. I'm a child at heart, though. Now, here's the hard part. How do I get out of here? Go to the canal. Can I just sneak my, stick my little head out? 
I stick my little head out of the, of the thing? No. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain the thought without accept. Thank you. I'm, a, I'm taking that as a compliment. I'm taking that that I am an educated child. Because I am. Wait. Gosh darn it. I keep calling myself a child on this stream. Because I guess I, in a way I am. I watch enough cartoons to be considered a child personally. Um, how do I get out of here? Hmm. Shoot. Dang it! You man who is old and I don't like you. You broke your last pint glass, you stupid, stupid man. I gotta find another pint glass. I'll probably just slowly walk into the friggin'. Ugh. These people, I, I do enjoy this level because honestly, it, it does have a fun amount of challenge and it's a very creative kind of thought process uh, to get things done. Um, but honestly, it's, it, I mean, obviously it's hard. It's hard level. Um, I might need to start it over just so the pint glasses respawn. Um, so we, I think this is a good place to call it a night. However, there's one note I'm going to leave you guys on. Gotta run back to my girl. I gotta run back to my girl. Her name is Petunia. She's a flower and I love her. Flower of the hour. We're gonna we're gonna leave with some more goose jazz, obviously. Um, here I am, a goose. Ah, oh, she still waited for me. What a lady. Oh, it's it, it's it's I'm the most coordinated goose I've ever met. Forget snake jazz, goose jazz is where it's at. Okay. Well, that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Uh, watching me flip out about people in a restaurant and just talk about life and times and things. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful night and a wonderful. <laughs> Uh, you know, next time we'll find your poison. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining in. Um, so coming up on this Thursday, we are going to be having a new show. It's brand spanking new, friggin' original, never seen before, written by Sarah Brown. It's called Wild Hearts at 7 o'clock. Um, for those of you who didn't hear my pitch, animal people, just animals, really, fall in love. We follow a golden retriever boy trying to find his way to his next step in life, to his next step in college, and find out what he wants to do with his life, but also trying to find love. Uh, hope you guys have a great night. Uh, stop by and enjoy the show. It's going to be lit. All right. That being said, remember, love, video games, and anime are, as a matter of fact, real. <laughs>